Welcome back to the Bros Films channel, guys. We're back with some cooking with Gina. Let's hit the light. Cooking with Gina here. Let's show you what we've been doing. Guys, slice half a cabbage, okay? We're making a soup, really nice soup. Meatballs, take about, uh, about a pound of ground beef. Go ahead, take that. Teaspoon of this stuff. Teaspoon of some fermented red pepper sauce from Trader Joe's, good stuff. About two teaspoons of rice and uh, maybe a, a little bit of dill if you feel like it. And then what you do, mash it all together with your hands, roll them up into meatballs about that size. You want a bite size and you want a lot of them. Next, slice three carrots, slice three potatoes, diced. Put them in here, add a little water so they don't oxidize and turn brown. This way. Get this thing going, fill up a big pot that you got. Put that thing on boil. Once it's done boiling, uh, go ahead and we'll start the next process. So we'll meet you there. Sorry we didn't record the other stuff earlier. We've been quite busy. Uh, dicing it and I didn't think I'd be recording this, but we're doing it anyways because cooking with Gina I'm gonna teach you guys how to survive the bias. Let's get straight to it Comrades we have just ran out of compote while filming this video So we will take a short break and uh, come back Okay, so usually you want to boil the water first with an onion in it and the bay leaves uh, But we did this kind of out of order So after you boil the water with the onions put the meatballs in there and then start slicing up your vegetables And by the time you're done with that the meatball should be done So put your vegetables in there let it cook for a little bit longer once your vegetables are soft then the soup should be done Soup's been cooking for a bit. Now, next step is to get some dill. So come out here for a second. Check it out. Everyone, hey, everyone has to have dill in their backyard to make this soup. Or you can go to the store. Show it up a little bit. Shut the flower. Okay, now unzip it. You shouldn't be doing that. All right, good. That's your dill. Now, what you do is you take that dill and you come over here and you get about like twice, three times this amount of dill. And then you come to the sink, you rinse it under cold water. You do not put soap on it. Only Nathaniel puts soap on his produce. Okay guys, millimeter, not half inch. Done this with the dill, follow me. and take this lid, put it into your soup. That's a large piece. I am not chewing on that today. Uh, all right, now put the rest of it in. There we go. Stuff, good stuff. Remember guys, millimeter, not a half inch. And this stuff just hide it. Don't let your other bit of it. Alright, now that it's in the soup, should I take the shlaki out? Um, I don't think we have shlakis, but you might want to yeah. stir it a little bit. Alright, we're gonna stir it a little bit. Yeah. It's not enough dill guys, but trust me, you don't want that much dill in there anyways. There's a lot of shlaki, it's just hidden. I will proceed to take out the shlaki now. See this stuff here? That's blood and all that other weird stuff you don't want. See this like foam stuff? Put that in there and you wanna... This one's not fine enough, but you wanna take that stuff out. See that stuff? It's nasty stuff, you wanna throw that out. No, I need a place to put this stuff. Follow me to the sink. Yeah, nasty stuff. All right, you can go ahead and cut this thing at the point. All right, you're rolling, come here. Now time's very important, taste test. All right, you need, you need to make sure you put enough salt in here. So take a little, maybe just a little bit. Something like that, you don't want it too hot. And avoid the schlocky that's in there. And we'll take a quick taste. That's good stuff, that's good stuff. I think the salt content's pretty good. If you're the salt, if you're the kind of guy who likes a little bit more salt, put a little bit more salt in there. But you gotta eyeball the salt, guys. There's no way to tell for sure how much you wanna put in there, so. Uh, take your chances with it, and uh, 
We'll do a real taste test when it's done cooking. So just let it cook. Vegetables become soft. That's how you know it's done. But yeah, once your onion's soft and your vegetables are soft, it's cooked. So just give it a little bit longer and it'll be done.